Summary of That Little Voice in Your Head Adjust the code that runs your brain by M.O. Godat, written and narrated by Janky Mind. Introduction That little voice in your head serves as a comprehensive guide to unlocking the full potential of your brain, leading to a happier and more fulfilled life. Drawing upon principles from computer science and neuroscience, the book metaphorically maps the mind as a sophisticated operating system. Through the use of simple yet effective exercises, it empowers readers to take charge of their thoughts, emotions, and ultimately, their experiences, enabling them to positively impact the lives of those around them. Take a moment to reminisce about your earliest memories, a time when life was carefree, devoid of responsibilities and societal pressures. Oh, how wonderful it would be to experience such unbridled happiness again. But did you know that it is possible to reset and retrain our brains to attain a natural state of happiness? Renowned computer scientist and former Google X top executive Imo Gaudet espouses this very idea and delves into the concept of happiness in his third best-selling book. That Little Voice in Your Head Gaudet shares his profound insights into happiness and offers a user's manual for the brain, complete with numerous exercises for ongoing maintenance and troubleshooting to achieve lasting happiness. By expertly blending his computer science expertise with cutting-edge neuroscience research, Gaudat presents a comprehensive model of the brain, comparing it to a complex computer system with its software. He shares personal stories and relatable anecdotes, most notably recounting the loss of his son, Ali, which became the catalyst for his mission to help others find happiness. This noble endeavor culminated in the creation of the movement One Billion Happy. Perhaps, by the end of this audiobook, you too will be on your way to becoming part of this happy billion. Gaudat contends that the key to happiness lies in understanding the various components of the brain's operating system and the mechanisms behind our thoughts. Armed with this knowledge, one can accurately discern when and how to intervene, making necessary adjustments for a happier life. Although we will only touch on some parts of Gaudat's user's manual, the book promises to provide valuable insights and practical exercises that can be implemented right away. So, let's get started on this transformative journey. Grab a pen and paper or your notes app, as we will embark on a series of quick exercises to explore and optimize your very own operating system, your brain. Chapter 1, Empowering Your Mind, The Path to Happiness Beyond Thoughts before we delve further, there's a fundamental concept you must embrace. You possess the power to control your thoughts, just as you control a computer and the messages it conveys. Your true essence extends far beyond mere thoughts. While Godad acknowledges the brain's remarkable capabilities as a sophisticated machine, he likens it to any other organ in the body, processing and generating various things. Just as the lungs extract oxygen and release carbon dioxide, the brain takes in information and produces thoughts. However, just as you wouldn't identify yourself as carbon dioxide, you need not see your thoughts as defining you either. It's essential to recognize that you can observe your thoughts. If you were nothing more than your thoughts, there would be no need for an internal voice to communicate, you'd inherently know everything. This realization reaffirms that the brain is vital but not the entirety of who you are. This leads to a hopeful conclusion, you hold the power over your thoughts. That inner voice in your mind? You don't have to heed its every word. In fact, you can choose not to listen to it at all. Better yet, you can train it to think in ways that bring happiness not only to yourself but potentially to the entire world. Feeling empowered? Excellent! As promised, Let's explore the high-level functions of our brains so you can identify areas that may require attention. Gaudet begins with a basic concept and operational diagram illustrating how all computational systems function. While a more complex model exists, we'll stick to the simpler one for brevity. First, we have inputs, encompassing all the information that enters the system. Next, processes describe how the system handles those inputs. 
Finally, there are outputs, which represent the results of those inputs and processes. If you seek greater happiness in life and find yourself dissatisfied with your current output, perhaps you've experimented with different processes without significant improvements. It's akin to updating software on a computer, but the machine still runs slowly. Similarly, you might have tried meditation or established an exercise routine, yet the desired results elude you. Don't worry, we're on the path to address this. Let's start at the beginning of the operational diagram to explore what might be happening with your inputs. Here's a quick exercise to prepare your mind. Take five minutes in a quiet space and reflect on the past week. Write down everything you can remember hearing, seeing, experiencing, and feeling, along with any thoughts you had about them. Simple as that. Keep your list. We'll return to it after exploring the various factors within your brain that can affect your well-being. Chapter 2, Unraveling the Roots of Unhappiness in Our Minds, A Countdown to Clarity. Take a moment to count down slowly from 4 to 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. According to Godat, our brains can trigger unhappiness for four main reasons, and understanding these will aid in troubleshooting when it occurs. This countdown technique also helps in recalling each reason vividly, for types of faulty inputs, three defense mechanisms, two distinct polarities, and one detrimental type of thought. As we discussed earlier, inputs represent all the information that enters our brains. If we find ourselves dissatisfied with our life's outcomes, it's crucial to scrutinize what we allow into our minds. The first reason for unhappiness lies in four types of problematic input, conditioning, old thoughts, pent-up emotions, and hidden triggers. These inputs are often tied to beliefs we form based on our life experiences. The first three are internal in nature, but the challenge is that they are not always based on reality. The fourth, hidden triggers, encompasses the messages we absorb from external sources, such as media violence or well-meaning advice from loved ones. The third reason on our countdown relates to three defense mechanisms. Godat draws on neuroscience to explain how our brains function in these ways. The reptilian brain prompts us to avoid threats, the mammalian brain drives us towards pleasure and away from pain, and the advanced rational brain empowers us to perform complex tasks unique to humans. While these mechanisms serve important functions, they can become problematic if they exert excessive influence over our actions and decisions. Moving on to the two polarities, often referred to as the right brain and the left brain. Godat likens them to separate processors in computers, where one handles creativity and emotions while the other focuses on logic and organization. Both sides are vital for optimal brain function, and an imbalance between them can lead to suboptimal outputs. Finally, we reach the one in the countdown, the one thought or type of thought responsible for unhappiness in our brains. Godat terms it incessant thinking or rumination, likening it to the behavior of ruminant animals like cows or sheep, who regurgitate their food to continue consuming it. While this is useful for them, it is detrimental for us when negative thoughts get stuck in our minds and influence everything we do. Now that we've identified the four root causes of unhappiness, let's move on to the exciting part, debugging and finding ways to address these issues effectively. Chapter 3, Empower Your Mind, Debugging Techniques and New Habits for Happiness In our exploration, we've unveiled the four main reasons behind potential unhappiness caused by our brains, aided by a memorable countdown 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, whenever you sense an issue in your operating system, recall this helpful mnemonic. To counter these reasons, Godat provides a wealth of exercises to increase awareness and reprogram your mind for improved outcomes. Let's address the four faulty inputs, conditioning, old thoughts, pent-up emotions, and hidden triggers by adopting a habit of self-questioning, if you haven't already. Take the list of thoughts from the previous exercise and subject them to scrutiny with questions like, is this belief serving me? Where did this thought originate? 
And is this belief truly valid? Similarly, you can employ questioning to confront your reptilian brain. Evaluate the actual danger level of a situation and assess your overall safety. Are you truly facing a life and death scenario? Can you recall instances where others endured similar worst case scenarios and emerged stronger? Reminding your brain of your true safety level will help balance the avoidant instinct. These questioning exercises are also effective in quelling incessant thinking or rumination. When that internal voice starts speaking, let it pass without giving it undue attention. When it subsides, prompt it to provide a different thought. Allocate 25 minutes and set an alarm, as Godat suggests. Over time, the voice will quiet down merely because you're giving it attention. In addition to questioning, cultivating new habits can help counter or reverse problems. To address the influence of hidden triggers, the fourth faulty input, consider reducing your exposure to mass media, desensitizing violence in shows and games, and minimizing celebrity gossip consumption. Eliminating these factors may heighten your awareness of their impact. For example, God had eliminated movies with violence or gore and limited his news intake to just headlines every three days. Given that our pleasure-seeking, pain-avoiding mammalian brain can lead to attachment issues, decluttering possessions can prove beneficial. Regularly purging unnecessary items will help form a habit of removing other unhelpful elements, such as unproductive thoughts and scenarios. For instance, Godat sets aside an hour each Saturday to select 10 items for donation. To balance the polarities of your brain, practice engaging both sides when tackling challenges. Examine an issue from various perspectives to gain a comprehensive understanding before taking action. Godat calls this approach B. Learn. Do. Remember that you possess the power to delve into the motivations behind your thoughts, emotions, and choices. Instead of falling into self-doubt, embrace a healthy dose of skepticism to develop awareness of your thought patterns and emotions. This will bolster your self-confidence and inform your decisions as you strive for personal growth. By taking charge and addressing the neural sources of suffering, you're now prepared for more advanced programming to optimize your brain and enhance your life experience further. Embrace these empowering techniques to unlock your true potential for happiness and fulfillment. Chapter 4, Enhance Your Brain and Uplift the World, The Power of Purposeful Thinking When envisioning the epitome of bliss, you might picture a Zen Buddhist monk deeply immersed in meditation, achieving a state of inner peace. While meditation indeed holds value, dedicating hours daily as monks do might not be feasible for most of us. Moreover, happiness isn't confined to this singular practice. Godat introduces the concept of useful thinking, comprising four types of thoughts that can replace negative thinking and potentially have an even greater impact on our well-being. Notably, these thoughts can also extend to benefiting others, making them highly valuable for personal growth and making a positive difference in the world. Embrace these four types alongside joyful thoughts and let the transformation begin. Firstly, there's experiential thinking, also known as mindfulness. This involves consciously engaging your senses with the world around you. It could be as simple as finding beauty in your morning walk or immersing yourself in your favorite music during your daily commute. This practice extends inward as well, encouraging you to examine your emotions and take stock of how your body feels. The second type revolves around problem solving. Being adept at this skill not only garners favor at work but also proves invaluable in personal life. Godat offers a set of guiding questions to use whenever faced with challenging thoughts or issues. These questions include, is it true? Can I do something about it? And finally, can I accept and commit? By thoughtfully responding to these questions, you can navigate through difficult situations, letting go of what is untrue and taking action where possible. 
In cases where you cannot change a situation, accepting it and committing to that acceptance becomes a liberating choice. The third type is flow, where you become so engrossed in an activity that you feel joyful, highly skilled, and lose track of time. You can cultivate this state by taking a skill you enjoy, slightly elevating the difficulty of a project, and then breaking it down into manageable tasks. By focusing on one task at a time and removing time constraints, you open the door to experiencing the true joy of flow. Lastly, giving plays a crucial role in this journey. It can take various forms, from simple acts like offering a smile or compliment to more significant gestures like volunteering your time or making a donation. Scientific studies have consistently shown that giving leads to a significant boost in our own happiness. The beauty of giving lies in the fact that when you give, you can't lose, the rewards are both intrinsic and extrinsic. By embracing purposeful thinking and nurturing these four types of thoughts alongside joyful ones, you unlock the potential to optimize your brain, uplift your life, and contribute positively to the world. Empower yourself with the transformative power of useful thinking, and let your actions resonate with joy and kindness. Summary Embarking on your journey to happiness is akin to how a skilled computer scientist troubleshoots an operating system and its software. Like examining the inputs and processes in a computer, you can scrutinize your brain's functions. It's essential to realize that you are not defined by your thoughts, you exist independently from them, granting you the power to control, transform, or replace them as needed. Within this exploration, we encounter the four primary reasons our brains can lead us to struggle, for faulty inputs, three defense mechanisms, two polarities, and one malicious, repetitive thought. But fear not, as each of these challenges can be effectively addressed through consistent practices. Engaging in self-questioning and adopting habits that enhance awareness and establish new thought patterns are potent tools to overcome these obstacles. Lastly, you possess the capacity to optimize your brain's performance, enhance your happiness, and positively impact the lives of others through the power of useful thinking. This involves focusing on experiences, honing problem-solving abilities, attaining a state of flow in your activities, and embracing the profound impact of giving. In this journey of self-discovery and growth, you have the potential to unlock the best version of yourself and radiate joy and positivity to the world around you. Embrace the principles of troubleshooting your mind and nurturing useful thinking, and let your path to happiness become an inspiring and transformative adventure. This audiobook summary was brought to you by Janky Mind. We hope you enjoyed it.